And welcome back, this is Bellisco with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. I am joined, as always, by my trusty team of Bala, Luke, Finny, and Noah. And when we last left off, we had defeated Tiamat and Warmech because I'm awesome like that. Everybody's up to level 35, we're all healed up, I maxed out everybody I could on magic, and, you know, because I have... Oh, and it completely bankrupted me. I have no gill left whatsoever. Uh, so we're back at Mount Durgar. Simply because Mount Durgar is an awesome place. And I think you're the one. Rally ho, and then they jump. So this is, uh, this is pretty much where you need to go. Why? Because we got the Adamantite. And do you remember this guy was asking for it? So we hand it over to him, no questions asked. Oh, what? Where did you get the adamantite? This is marvelous. I shall forge you a sword. And it's done. Nicely done, Smith the Smith. Most magnificent sword I have ever forged. Working with adamantite has been a dream to me. This beauty is all yours. So, for all his hard work of about 10 seconds, we get. the Excalibur. Now, I like to think that this is the best weapon in the game, um, but there are people that disagree, and you are certainly welcome to disagree. There is another one later on that does compete, but I like it better than the Excalibur, or I like this sword better than that. So, where do we go from here? You know, we've defeated all the enemies, we've got one of the best weapons in the game, where do we go? I'll give you a hint. Remember how when this game started, the first place we had to go was the Temple of Chaos. And I said, yeah, that, that doesn't sound like a, a first dungeon for me. Sounds like the last dungeon. Well, you're absolutely right. It is the last dungeon of the game. The Temple of Chaos. Now, how you're supposed to know to come back here is beyond me. These bats do talk. There are five bats here. That's one clue. Another clue is this orb in the pl in the middle of the place. Um, someone 2,000 years in the past is absorbing that power. He is our true foe. It's, it is the light of the four crystals we could not regain. Take those crystals and step into the portal of time. It'll take you 2,000 years into the past. What do you have to say? Let the light of the four crystals shine upon the black crystal in the center of the chamber. Unite the four forces will open a portal to the Temple of Chaos as it existed 2,000 years ago. Please move bats. Seriously? Seriously. Come on. No! Are you kidding me? Oh my god. You. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. We are sky people. We came here after tracing to the root, of, after tracing the root to of the world's runes to this place that was 400 years ago. They've been bats for 400 years. Why won't you let me talk to people? The crystal's radiance has restored my speech. Chaos cast a curse on us, turning us into bats. Chaos. So yes, now it is time to enter the temple properly four crystals were laid over the black crystal the tide of time advances to engulf all and the dimensions begin to twist just one step further and you will travel two thousand years back in time in other words don't do it if you're not ready you could probably start this at about level thirty um, I'm at level 35, as I mentioned before, uh, but if you want to start this at level 30, is possible. Um, but you can go all the way up to level 50, to the level cap, if you want to uh, make sure that you could handle it. So already, we're on the first floor. I think I want to go to the right. Do we have any new enemies here? We have seen these before. So keep going to the right, and eventually you will find the stairs. And up the stairs we go. Almost. Almost got it. Yeah, it's been my dragons this whole time. Okay, up the stairs we go. Then we go... Ugh. Just to these other stairs over here. What do we have here? We have dragon zombies. 
Okay, up the stairs, and then we're on the third floor. And what do we have here? We have... Oh, nine black knights. Interesting. Okay, so we want to go down uh, as far as we can go. And then to the right. And then we should be able to go back up into the middle here. Into this middle room. Uh, freaking pillars and their sideways physics. Uh, weird. Vampire Lord as well as a dragon zombie. You know, all stuff we've seen before. You know, the... the the random enemies uh, that bring up in the scripted battles. Now we go up into here, and this is a scripted battle with a death eye. This is an upgraded evil eye, of course. So we'll see what we can do with it right now, I'm pretty sure. You know what? Let's change it up. I need to heal a little bit, so Luke is going to be the only one that attacks it. That's how confident I am in Luke right now. Where are the healing homes? Oh, where the fuck down there? Yep, Fallout is on healing duty for probably the first time on screen. He ca and the Death Eye cast stop and it misses everybody. So hopefully I can get some more healing in. Looks like Nova needs it the most right now, but that's all right. He gets attacked the least, so I'm not too concerned about him dying. Not that it is a huge concern if he does die. Eight hit combo, 403 damage. Down goes the Death Eye. We get one experience and one gill. Yeah, I know, it's kind of a dick move, isn't it? Oh, we do have treasure on the side. Let's see if I can get those. Oh, uh, yes, these are uh, green dragons, also known as gas dragons in the original ones. Um, many of you will be tempted to run from these guys. You can't, so don't try. Yeah, those green dragons have an attack called Toxin that does quite a bit of damage to your entire party. We get 45,000 gil there. I don't know why they're still giving us gil. So that's 100,000 gil that we got in this one room alone. Okay, now we go back to the middle here. Stone plate rests on the floor. It seems to have an evil force. So I guess we're stuck? No, of course not. We remember way, way back in the game, I believe episode two or three of this LP, the princess gave us a loot. And we haven't found a use for it yet. Well, now we have. And the stone shatters, and we find ourselves a ladder that goes down uh, back to the second floor. How you're supposed to know how to do that, you know, once again, beyond me, as is a lot of things in this game. A lot of things are beyond. Okay, so you want to go to the left this time. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Don't worry about it. What? Huh? I thought the stairs were down here, but they're not. They're up here. Up in this corner. There we go. And we go back down to the first floor. How this all works, I don't know. This place is kind of a maze at first. In the original Nintendo version, it is possible to get here without the loot uh, to the Temple of Chaos. But then uh, in uh, in this version, I don't believe you can actually leave the room in, uh, until she gives you all loot. So even though you couldn't have gotten to this point, you could have, I guess, gone to the Temple of Chaos, you know, without the loot. A purple worm? I don't think we've ever seen a purple worm before. Um, so I don't know where it's supposed to be from, but I think Luke can take it out all by himself. So once again, I'm just going to focus on healing, and that's probably what you should be doing as well. Yeah, Luke took it out all by himself, didn't give anybody a chance to heal. Uh, whatever. So you just go all the way to the left on this floor, and you're back down to the basement. And now the layout of the temple changes. And what kind of enemies do we find here? We find basilisks. I don't think I've s we've seen basilisks. Um, so here's yeah, here's my basic strategy. Uh, when we're up against four guys, I assume Fallout and Luke can take them out with one shot each. So I want Finny and Novin to be on support. And because they are basilisks, of course they can stone people. But I'm wearing my ribbon, so I'm not too scared. Although, every time I see it, I get a little nervous, and I'm like, oh, that's right, I have the ribbons. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. So we're going to still heal everybody back up, because as you can see, 
this place is going to be a grind. Um, yeah, I don't want to give too much away. But let's just say there's at least four more floors to go. And I think everybody knows what I mean by at least four. If you don't, you're in for a surprise. Which should be fun for everybody. So we get healing done. And oh wow, it only does one damage to Finny. That's not a very strong Basilisk. So you want to go up. As you can see, there's nothing over there, so you go over to the right. Yeah, it's about this time that you'll start to notice everything in here is kind of an earth enemy. Like these claimstone golems. Now don't be misled. Don't go down there. Keep on going to the right, all the way over. All the way over to the far right, and then we want to go straight down. And then here we will find the stairs. Now you'll notice... You'll notice that the there there are pillars, so there's only really three ways into these stairs. There's a good reason for that. If you're not ready for this battle, you should heal up now, because now we're going to fight against the Lich. The Earth Fiend, if you guys remember correctly. So what we're going to want to do is, well, yeah, she's still going to try to heal. And let's use a flare on his ass. Because he has a flare of his own. How big of a dick move is that? They give him flare, and he opens it up with it. Oh my god, it almost killed everybody. That's not cool. It almost killed Novin, to be honest with you. Novin apparently is weak to flare. But is the Lich weak to flare? Hundred and two. Yes! Because the flare is enough to kill him. Yeah, so... Down goes the Lich. If you haven't figured it out by now, we're going to be fighting all four of these on the way up. You should have figured that out by now. And you don't get anything for him, really. 500 experience and one gill? That's crap. Okay, so now we're on to the second floor. And that looks like that's going to do it for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. When we continue next time, we'll be taking on the second floor of the basement of the Temple of Chaos. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.